This is Gigi, and I would like you to watch my videos. Hello everybody, this is Gigi. And I was going to do a video on bathing my chicken. But it, my iPad does not allow me to go over 8 minutes on recording. Which really... And so I was not able to record me bathing my chicken, which real sucks. And so I'm just going to have to tell you how to do it. So yeah, what we did is um, you take three buckets. So you take one, two, and then three. If you have a small little bantam or something, you can use like a bucket like, uh, what is it? Sorry, see that one? Right, uh, blah, 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 right there. That's that, you can use that if you have a small chicken. If you have any chickens that are like big or, you know, you want to use a big tub. Um, you can use a tote or just a like wash bin. So, so we use, use the tote. And then we used two wash bins. So, actually, I think they were horse water, waters, um, but they weren't big. Um, then you want to fill them with warm water, what you would like for bath water. Make sure it's not too hot and not too cold and just the right temperature. Um, then, what you want to do is in the first tub, oh, my feet stink. I went bike riding, so. <laughs> Um, first thing you want to do is get some baby shampoo. I highly recommend it. If you can get poultry shampoo, that's like top notch, you know. Um, I think that RX has like um, a poultry show shampoo. But what I used is baby shampoo and I also used a whitening shampoo since I'm showing a light Brahma and she has white on her. So I used a whitening shampoo from PetSmart. That's mostly what I used. It was for dogs. Then uh, in the second bucket, I just used clean water. I also did take a little container and fill it with like nice clean water so I could take a little um, cup and pour it on her head. But be careful. Don't do it too much so she can breathe or heat. Um, and then you want to do them in like a gentle plunging motion. Never submerge their head. Oh, it's very bad. Um, so yeah, just, just around the neck area, no higher than that. And just do a gentle plunging motion. Make sure you really get past the feathers in the, um, wash bucket because you have to so that it, um, gets clean. Because they have oils and they resist the water. In the third bucket, you want to put one cup of vinegar per gallon of water. So if you had 10 gallons, you put 10 cups, which is a lot, but you need it. Um, and that shines it up, and any excess soap will cut it out so it will be nice and... Um, it won't, they won't get brittle and stuff like that. Uh, and you can also add a little bit of glycerin. Also, if you have a white chicken, you can add um, bluing to the second bucket. But I didn't. I couldn't find bluing at the store, and all I used was um, was that whitening shampoo because that's all I could find. Um. So once you, uh, pretty much. Um, finish your chicken. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, after you've completely washed your chicken, you want to take them out, drape the towel over the bath, like I'll pretend that, um, here, I'll go get something to mimic a towel. You stare at these thingies.
this is going to be a very interesting demonstration on how to put the towel on the chicken. It's going to be the most interesting demonstration I've done. All right, pretend this is the the chicken here. Just a minute. I'm going to make it a little more chicken shaped. All right, that does not look like a chicken at all, does it? But this is the head, and this is the rest of the body. All righty. Um, so the feet are supposedly here. There's imaginary feet. Just pretend there's feet there, all right? Put it over the chicken like this. Put this over behind the feet. So the feet are hanging out here. And then put this on, yeah, on the other side. So the feet will be hanging out and then the head will be sticking out as well. So then you have the little chicken with the, the feet sticking out and they just start eating. You know. And that way, since the feet are sticking out, you can clip their toenails, you can um, scrub their feet with a toothbrush, you can clean everything on them. And then you put um, them in a clean cage, you dust them if they have mites, and you spray them. And then you wait to Keep them away from their flock mates if they have any. Um, because my dad's walking up there, so it's making a lot of noise. Um, so, yeah. You basically put them in a the clean cage and keep them there. You dust them, do whatever you need to. Also, put petroleum jelly. It's for lotion. It's very good. You want to moisturize it because after like a shower you might take, your nose or your hands get kind of dried out and they're like, ah. And so you put lotion on and it's your hands and stuff. Nice. And so that's the same with the chicken. You don't want them to look, have a dry comb or dry, dry waddles or dry face or dry ear nose or dry feet. So put the petroleum jelly or lotion on them. And then finally stick them in the cage with clean shavings. Wait overnight. Let them in there. They'll get used to it, and then take them out on the show day, put them in, and stick them in the cage. It usually, I would bring them there the day before, so, yeah, it's Thursday, and that's the day I bring my chicken, so, that was this morning. I had to leave at 7 o'clock to get there, because um, you have to leave before 8, you have to get there before 8 to drop off your chicken, and then you have to get them tested for poor, um, Depends on the show though. Sometimes you gotta get them tested for everything. So for us, we had to um, do pull them. We had to get um, passes, and we had to get um, insurance. So yeah, the fair I show at it used to not have to do all that stuff. All you needed to do be was a four H or and you need to have your passes. And that's it. And then you go there and show chicken. But it's different this year. There's rules. And you have to be in a food booth and a parade and everything else. So, oh, wow. Video's over eight minutes. That's weird. All right. So I'm probably going to have to end this video. Bye. Wait. It's very easy to get My next video would be what to bring to the show. See you. Oh, and also, <laughs> I know I'm doing a lot of stuff. At the show, they have these little cards.